Hello and welcome to another episode of Mushoku Tensei Explained. I'm Shergok, your host, and today we are going to take a closer look at why Sylvie was so obsessed with Rudy, despite not seeing him from some years now, and despite him just not recognizing her. But before we're going to do so, let me quickly thank my Patreons for supporting this channel, as well as say thanks to all users of the YouTube Thanks function for making one-time donations. And now with that said, let's get to the actual topic at hand. Sylviette was incredibly fond of Rudy because he was her only childhood friend. And because he was the one who managed to stop the other kids from attacking and throwing stones at her. This not only resulted in Sylvie no longer being ostracized and attacked because of her green hair, but also in her finding her first friend. Furthermore, Rudy had an enormous amount of knowledge and Sylvie learned not only magic from him, but also the silent casting of spells. She was completely fascinated by Rudy, who seemed to possess so much knowledge and abilities, far more than anybody else in her village, and especially for a simple village child, it was exciting that the son of a noble treated her so kindly and friendly. Sylvie had also later learned from Rudy's family that he wasn't at home just because he was earning money for their shared future education at the Academy of Ranoa. And as mentioned, Rudy was only seven years old at that time, which naturally left a strong impression on Sylvie. And ever since that day, she dreamt about studying with him together at Ranoa. And spoiler alert, Sylvie's affection for Rudy and her constant mentioning of him in front of Ariel was also the reason why Princess Ariel convinced the Academy staff to send Rudy an invitation to study at the Academy of Ranoa as a special student. And as seen in the anime, it was there that Sylvie fell completely in love with Rudy. At that point, Rudy was also well trained and fairly attractive, though still socially insecure and reserved because of his wet noodle condition. And again, Sylvie had always imagined a future together with him. And because she was still quite shy, it nearly broke her heart that Rudy did not recognize her, which was only logical, since now she had a different hair color, wore constantly sunglasses, seldomly talked, and acted in a male Fitz persona. Naturally, she was also impressed by how strong Rudy had become. The battle against Sylvie could have been fatal if his stone cannon had hit her, and the one-hit KO against Badi Gadi was also a real shock and achievement. That's also why it hurt Sylvie so much that Rudy could communicate so comfortably with Nanahoshi Shizuka in a language she didn't even understood. This made Sylvie feel completely left out, and she was genuinely afraid that Rudy might now turn to other women, especially after Linia and Persina had shown an interest in him. And with that said, I say thank you very much for watching and please feel free to share your opinions about the video down in the comment section. And while you do this, I say special thanks to all of my Patreons for supporting this channel. And anyway, have a nice day. And I hope to see you all again soon under my next video.